let's go ahead and I'm going to start in my sample area. So this would be for you guys, most likely your projects area that you would be using this to just maintain your current projects. So as you can see here, I have my sample area. Underneath my sample area, I have my business project office. So my business project office is so if later on I decide that I need to add additional project offices, it kind of gives me that diff that um, overall arching um, way of doing things so that I'm not putting myself kind of in that corner, back up in a corner there. So the next thing, um, we have our Contoso IT project office. We have our marketing project office. And then we have our finance department project office. So today what we're going to do is we're going to pull out from here our project upgrade. And then we're going to pull out our website build. And then we're going to pull in the entire finance department. So here in my project office, if I come to the all report, of course, I'm going to see all of my projects here. So there's no way of really filtering out just those specific projects that I would like to see for my reporting. So from here, let's move over into the portfolio reporting area. And so I already have that open here. So here you can have many portfolios. So I just have a sample portfolio here, but I would like to walk through today of how to create a new portfolio. So today we are going to do a new portfolio. And then here I can name this. So maybe this is my high priority items that I need to pay attention to. I can also put a description in here. It's going to go ahead and make the URL for us. And then here, I want to create an empty portfolio, or I can copy an existing portfolio, but I want to go ahead and I want to have this be an empty portfolio so I can add the projects that I want to add to that. So from here, I'm just going to click on create. So this is then going to come up. It's just going to be a blank portfolio. And then this portfolio is where I'm going to go ahead and enter or add my projects. Now, what it's doing to these projects is it's not actually moving them from where they are. It's actually keeping them in the same structure. All we're doing is just picking and choosing which ones we want to actually report on. So if you do make an update to a project here, you're also making that same update as you would if you were in the projects area of your system. So now that I've got this here, you can see that I have a blank um, portfolio, but you can also see here too that a lot of this looks exactly the same as our project office, where we've got our reports down the side, we've got our reports across the top. So now let's say that we want to add a new project to our portfolio. So I'm going to click here on portfolio projects. We're going to say add new. And then we want to enter in and we can find this just by clicking on the blue plus here. Now, if I just say here, search, it's going to search the entire um, site collection. So that could be just a little bit. Um, giving me too many results. So I'm just going to type in hardware. It's going to bring up my two hardware projects that I have. I want to go ahead and select my project standard um, hardware upgrade project. So here, let's say if I wanted to specify a title for this, I can actually specify a specific title that this will show up in my reporting. And then I also want to make sure that I include this in my portfolio. And then of course I can make any notes here and I'm going to click OK. So now what you're going to see here is this is actually now added this to this portfolio. So now let's go ahead and add another one. So I'm going to go ahead and say add new. And this one we want to do our web site rebuild. So we'll add that one as well. Same thing. I have the same options, but I'm going to click OK. So the next one's going to be a little bit different. Here are my two projects that I've added. Now I want to add the finance project office. So here I can say add a new item. And again, I want to search for finance. This time I'm bringing in the finance department. I'm going to go ahead and click OK here. Before I click off this page, I actually want to say include the subsites that belong to this project office. 
So from here, we're gonna make sure that any subsite that's in our project office for finance, we're gonna bring in those specific projects. So you can do it at a project level, you can do it at a project office level. So now if you'll see here, if I come in, now I've got my additional projects. So underneath my finance department, I have evaluate merger acquisition, and I also have my annual report planning. So here it's brought in my two projects that I've asked, plus it's brought in the two projects that are here underneath my hierarchy. So let me just show you the hierarchy here. So here we brought in the project off upgrade, we brought in our project website build, and then we brought in these two projects from our finance department.